welcome back to the channel you guys so we're actually gonna be starting a new project this is gonna be our crx vlogs and it's actually my brother's project so i'm gonna interview him we're gonna get a couple information about the car what he decides to do with it and then we'll try to keep you guys posted as he builds so i'm not here too often or i mean i'm only here on the weekends he's gonna be building throughout the weekday so he'll probably be making some videos sending it out to me so if you guys see him and they're kind of choppy all, all over the place you'll know why so let's get to it Junior, all right so <laughs> we're here with matthew and his what is this a 91 91 crx right. got 1991 crx what you currently have in it um so right now i'm running a v17 gsr that i pulled out of a da gsr i had sitting around um the transmission is a lsd um, b16 differential with ls gears then i'm just running my 1320 headers to um I forgot the exhaust. Two and a half? It, yeah, it's two and a half. It's innovative, I think. What's no, this uh, What's this track bar? So that's an innovative traction bar. Um, just the okay. street style one. And yeah. you deleted the factory? Yeah, so the factory comes with a big ass cross member and it doesn't like to clear your header. So that was one of the first things I got rid of. And if you ever think about buying one, these innovatives tuck in really nice. And it's been great for me. I've it been raced on the track and it held up pretty nice. Okay, and I see you have the Alpha Scott 2 radiator. Yeah, so. Shroud. <laughs> you decided to go to the shroud on the inside? Yeah, the, the reason was because um, when I had my turbo set up, it was hitting. So I had to go from the inside to clear it. Um, obviously, I'm not boosted anymore, but that's the next step. Um, and with these CRXs, you have to tilt them back, or else your hood wouldn't clear. So, oh, that's a nice little custom bracket. Where did that come from? Yeah, that's custom David Hackett. Right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then uh, we also made a bottom support for the radiator as well. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, we chopped up the yeah. old bed frame to uh, <laughs> Here we go. make it work. You might need to see from the inside better. Yeah, sure. it's a little difficult to get, but when we have the, the front bumper off, I'll show you guys a little bit more about that. So, are you deciding to keep the B17 in it? So, the B17's coming out. Uh, we're gonna do B16A, and um, I already have my old B16A from when it got stolen, and so I'm just gonna rebuild that engine, or put it back together, pretty much, and then we'll okay. see if it blows up. And then what about boost-wise? What are you planning on? Um, right now, I just got like a Yamusa cheap turbo setup. Um, probably gonna run 16 pounds, just to see what happens. Um, shooting for 300 to the wheel just for this year and then we're doing the gsr build for next year this okay and then uh what about parts and arp head studs any internals uh no i'll probably just do head gasket arp head studs um other than that the engine was pretty sound before so i got it back after it got stolen and had a really bad head gasket leak so i'm just gonna repair that all right anything any plans for the engine bay you know, shave it paint it or is this um, how it's gonna be? You know, I wanted to do all that when I um, started this project, but now it's like, screw it, we're just yeah, gonna go full, full blown race car. race car. Yeah, so yeah. in here, we're gonna, you got an extra set of doors. So I'm probably gonna chop these doors up and uh, get rid of the window. I'm probably gonna go with the Lexan glass okay. or plastic. So all this is gonna get chopped and then, um, you know, I already have a, I mean, a half cage in it. The, the kickers, kickers are going in mine, right? <laughs> Is that what's happening? All right. So with the interior, I got my gauges hooked up up there. I, I felt like that was a good spot for them. It's all digital. And then I got my wide band going, um, running the NRG setup. I don't know if I'm going to change that up or not. I might just continue running it. I have these Sparco seats. They hold up pretty well. I don't like that they sit really high but it's not gonna matter because I'm only gonna be in it for you know, pretty short time just racing. Um, I did a half cage in this. Um, we Weld actually- bolt on. We did a bolt on. So I made some plates to back it. Um, so this far idea it seems that. pretty sturdy. All right, so <laughs> we're here with Matthew and his, what is this, a 91? 91 CRX. Right. Got a 1991 CRX, what you currently have in it. Um, so right now I'm running a B17 GSR that I pulled out of a DA GSR I had sitting around. Um, the transmission is a LSD 
um, B16 differential with LS gears. Then I'm just running my 1320 headers to, um, I forgot the exhaust. Two and a half? It, yeah, it's two and a half. It's innovative, I think. What's no, this, uh, what's this track bar? So that's an innovative traction bar. Um, just a okay. street style one. And, and you deleted the factory? Yeah, so the factory comes with a big ass cross member and it doesn't like to clear your header. So that was one of the first things I got rid of. And if you ever think about buying one, these innovatives tuck in really nice. And it's been great for me. I've they've been raced on the track and it held up pretty nice. Okay, and I see you have the Alpha Scotty radiator. Yeah, so. Shroud. <laughs> you decided to cut the shroud on the inside? Yeah, the, the reason was because um, when I had my turbo set up, it was hitting. So I had to go from the inside to clear it. Um, obviously, I'm not boosted anymore, but that's the next step. Um, and with these CRXs, you have to tilt them back, or else your hood wouldn't clear. So oh, that's a nice little custom bracket. Where did that come from? Yeah, that's custom David Hackett right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then uh, we also made a bottom support for the radiator as well. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, we chopped up the yeah. old bed frame to uh, <laughs> Here we go. make it work. You might need to see it from the inside better. Yeah. Sure. It's a little difficult to get, but when we have the the front bumper off i'll show you guys a little bit more about that so are you deciding to keep the b17 in it so the b17 is coming out uh we're gonna do a b16a and um i already have my old b16a from when it got stolen and so i'm just gonna rebuild that engine or put it back together pretty much and then we'll okay. see if it blows up and then what about boost wise what are you planning on um right now i just got like a Musa cheap turbo setup um probably gonna run 16 pounds just to see what happens um shooting for 300 to the wheel just for this year and then we're doing the gsr build for next year this okay is, and then uh what about parts and arp head studs any internals uh no i'll probably just do head gasket arp head studs um other than that the engine was pretty sound before so i got it back after it got stolen and had a really bad head gasket leak so i'm just gonna repair that all right, anything, any plans for the engine bay? You know, shave it, paint it, or is this um, how it's gonna be? You know, I wanted to do all that when I um, started this project, but now it's like, screw it, we're just yeah, gonna go just full, full blown race car. race car. Yeah, so yeah. in here, we're gonna, we got an extra set of doors. So I'm probably gonna chop these doors up and uh, get rid of the window. I'm probably gonna go with the Lex and Glass okay. or plastic. So all this is gonna get chopped and then um you know i already have a, I mean, a half cage in it the, the, the kickers, kickers are going in mine right <laughs> is that what's happening right. so with the interior i got my gauges hooked up up there i, I felt like that was a good spot for them. it's all digital and then i got my wide band going um running the nrg setup i don't know if i'm going to change that up or not i might just continue run it i have these sparkle seats they hold up pretty well i don't like that they sit really high but it's not gonna matter because I'm only gonna be in it for, you know, pretty short time just racing. Um, I did a half cage in this. Um, we Welded actually or bolt on. We did a bolt on, so I made some plates to back it. Um, so Whose far, idea it seems was pretty sturdy. Whose idea was to <laughs> put the plates on? Uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the back, I already have it pretty gutted. Um, not really anything in here we did a battery location it's kind of ghetto but it works um obviously i did a little bit had to retie down here um it works they don't give me too much trouble at the track so i'm just gonna keep it the same that's that custom battery tie down right there <laughs> all right everything else looks pretty good i mean are you planning on this is it that's it, man. All right, you're not gonna cut anything out. No, it's just gonna stay how it is. Yeah, I just don't really care too much, and I'm okay. not too worried about cutting too much weight because this car's already pretty light enough. It's an HF. All right, and then let's see here. We already got the yeah, I got my diffusers in. cut out. Uh, right now, I'm running Coney Yellows on ground control. Oh man, that looks like a custom hanger. Who made that? <laughs> All right, and what was the suspension? Uh, Coney Yellows on ground control. Um, 
I might end up getting new rear ground controls to stiffen up my spring a little bit, but as of right now, they did good last year. Uh, we'll see how it does when it's boosted. Um, I'm also running a Wabro 255 fuel pump, so that's kind of nice. I'm not gonna have to worry about swapping that out again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole car. All right, and then what about the body? You gonna add any uh, wide body, any wings, anything um, ridiculous? As of right now, um, I'm looking at wide front ends. I think that'd be cool to do a three-piece wide front end. Um, I forgot what company sells it, but they have a pretty cool setup. It's like 800 bucks. I think it's 1400 with hardware that I might be investing into soon. Okay, well, are you gonna got any more of the interior? No, I think Dash I'm coming out, none of that? And stuff. As of right now, I'm just gonna keep it because I like it looking pretty stock and it took me a really long time to piece together this freaking dash oh so you don't want to put in the fourteen hundred dollar aem standalone <laughs> not yet kit. maybe in a couple years <laughs> put everything on switches and all that right it. as you can see i got some custom rat poop in down right. down there this car has been sitting for oh, right a, here. a year perfect perfect so we're gonna get that vacuumed out today but um yeah this car sat for a really long time because it got stolen and then it kind of after I got it back, it was kind of fucked up and kind of lost a lot of motivation to keep it going. But finally, you know, I just finished up a lot of, a lot of projects and I got some time. I got a little money put away, so time to go fast. Time to go fast. I see it's got rear disc brakes. Is that something that came with it or you put it no, in yourself? No, it's an HF. So I, I bought a CRX SI for parts and... Um, I did the back conversion. I actually did the front. I don't know if they're different, but I did it anyways. Um, but hopefully. And then that was also all EG hardware, right? Like control arms. No, I, I got it from a CRX SI. So oh, okay. It's all ran from the CRX SI, but. No, I thought you were running a bunch of EG stuff. Um, it no, the, I'm running a EG lower. Um, what the hell is it? LCA lower control arm in the back, and I'm running EG. Excited to see the build. Yep. Document everything. Send it all to me and we'll put it all together. See, we could do 11s this year. Go for 11s? Alright, you guys heard it right now. Let's see if we can hit 11s. But like 11, I'm Matt Hackett. This is my 91 CRX build. You can follow it on David's channel at David Hackett. Like, subscribe, support, do your thing. And um, you could also probably see it on my Instagram, CRX is life. I think it's one word, something like that, but, yep. There it is, we got the CRX behind us, we're excited to see the build process, so support my channel, like, share, subscribe, like you said. Um, we're gonna be creating a couple things here pretty soon, actually probably have some t-shirts made up, uh, hoodies, stickers, and stuff like that. You guys can see me at the RDM uh, meets and stuff. If you do see me and you subscribe to my channel, uh, come up to me, just show me that, and uh, I'll give you one of my personal stickers for free. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, um, I do have just random Rick and Morty stickers, a couple uh, hentai chicks and then um some car meme stuff so if you want any of that just come find me let me know give me a shout out or something like that and i'll give you a free sticker but i'll try to keep you guys as posted as possible about this we'll see if we can get those 11 seconds on the track